All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Hollywood, California, presenting the challenger, Fantan. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ricky Boy. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to build my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. Should be good. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He him. has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Right hand upstairs. Oh, nice right hand, John. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he 
lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. These guys throwing early. Nice stupid punch. Popping his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, single collar time now. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Good stick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Whip his hip into that kick. Nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the win to the target there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at him drive his shin into the point of fire with that body. Oh, well, single collar tie here. It's a beautiful strike. Look at the control in the posture as that big knee lands. Keep your head high cross, baby. High cross. High cross. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees him coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, he's the taller fighter, and he landed a knee to the body with relative ease there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Just misses with the jab. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Keep doing that. Real sneaky by the kick. Big call from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. He mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle it once again. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ten seconds to go. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, Kenny's looking for that left. It's not there. Five minutes in the books. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone who's so skilled. You cannot just go after a guns of blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. So 
he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice body kick right under the elbow. What a punch. He's able to slip the left. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Head kick. Stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork. Oh, 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 right thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. And he's back up. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. He blocked the punch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Good punch, Lance. And both guys really throwing with authority. Single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big kick land. Beautiful body kick. Blocks the shot. Just out of range with that right hand. Head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? tie there and they set right hook to the head block and he landed the right hand there nice one two there all right he engages in the single collar tie starting to do some really significant damage to the body here another strike lands there great upper body movement defensively slips another strike there and Offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong today. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Right hand on point. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Great punch. He's very tricky. That body kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Beautiful body kick. Just missed with the left there. Such a fast leg kick. He loaded up with that right too. Oh, massive what a fight so far. Well, right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action 
when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. He's got to protect that body. Keep your elbows in tight. Stay focused, okay? All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Ooh, big shot lands. Big head kick land. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Superman punch now. Oh, and he comes nice through with a big knee. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. They continue to exchange. Oh, knee to the head. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big leg kick land. Huge block there. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Overhand right. Swing and a miss. Sneaky head kick. Oh! Oh! oh. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Ooh, blocks the shot. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big kick. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. it up going to the head mixing in some body shots oh vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg you got to start checking these you man. Got to check these kicks or you're going to be limping around the octagon very short check yourself before you wreck yourself well dc no denying he's winning this fight and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter you put in the work and it all comes together on the it all comes together nothing feels better Go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Watch the to the body. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, big knee to the body. Hell something about it. Straight right. Oh, oh, this fight's gonna be over. What a great move. He didn't stay the He mixed it up with the hat. He was But now he's got to hurt very badly. Missed with that attempt. Oh, and right now hand. he lands a combination. on the jab. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing oh. the Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Hands going. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Unable to connect with a right hook. And they separate. What a tricky head kick. So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, so next oh, round ready? underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both fight. of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Nice head kick. Lance flush with that right hand. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Trying to hammer that lead leg. That was a thudding leg kick. Nice punch there. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Visibly limping here. Straight right, he misses. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, beautifully placed knee. Well, we know knees to be some of the most destructive strikes in MMA, and he's got that part of his game going tonight. He has got the knees going. He's throwing them in bunches. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Big head kick. Misses with that punch. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Just misses with a left hand. And now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not let this guy die. And now he's got a hurt bad. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Well, to the left side. Try to establish that jab. Oh, big head kick. Good punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Lands with the right hand. Just over two minutes to go. He can't even, he can barely stand. Nice kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Hey, there's no tell on that leg kick. Oh! start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And misses with the right hand. That's a big strike right there. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Real quick leg kick. Oh, holy smokes, he put him to sleep. Come on, look at him jumping in to try to get the That's it. And that'll do it. Unbelievable. What a fight. A near perfect.
perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Inside the Octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second from round number four. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Pitty Ball. And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with Adams. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are made.